to do this. Week 9, um, Giants franchise. Um, probably going to lose this game. Um, <laughs> yeah, no confidence in this game at all. Um, but, hey, I feel like we're, we're on a tank season, so. We're on a tank season. We're going to see what we can do. Um, so, um, I guess uh, week 8. We had a bye week. Last time we left off, we lost to the Seahawks. We had a bye week, and then for some reason there uh, there's no Raiders users, so we had a fourth one there. So, you know, we're good. So. What is that, bro? That goes in. Yeah, for sure. Well, Giants versus Patriots. Okay, here we go. We're loading up. Yeah, I have no confidence in this game, so we're just going to get it out of the way. We're going to be back to back because it's seven. I got to face the Chargers and Dirty Boys, so we're going to go back to back today. Um, let's go with the the nice away unis. Even though we're at home, we're going to go with them away unis. Actually, hold on. Actually, let's go with the. Go with the alternate classics. Oh, he's okay. There we go. Okay, we're ready. Let's do this. I wish. Good luck, because he's probably going to put 40 on me. Oh, fucking great, dude. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, it's a Week 9 match. Okay. Go Let's go. We're kicking off. The New England Patriots and the New York Giants. Take a, we'll take kicking off here and see what the defense can do. Go. Bro Peppers. Okay, he's returning. Okay, he's gonna fair catch it. Start off. See uh, what we can do. Yeah, the defense hasn't been playing like the defense of last season, so we're gonna have to hopefully find or rejuvenate the defense some way somehow. Jones looking to throw right away. And already pick six, Dexter Lawrence. Um. Uh. Oh, I got one of those lucky D line picks. It looks like. Finally, I've been waiting for get one of those this season. I have a D line pick with Leonard Williams, but I literally ran out in coverage for that about a couple weeks ago. But. Shit. Pick six, Dexter Lawrence. <laughs> Damn, he got screwed already. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And a fair catch signal for successfully. Okay, let's let's do this again. <laughs> let's hope we let's hope uh, this time the defense does defense things. <laughs> when is Harris ninety nine? I guess he changed his jersey number. I guess. So I'm about to say I never knew Damian Harris to be ninety nine. So they've got to make
make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Jones going up top. Let's go. Good disruption. Robinson. We're going to save that play if we force a third down right here. Which is a possibility. We can force a fourth down right here. Let's go. Good tackle. Okay, let's get this. Going with Thornton again. Let's go incomplete. Fourth and ten. He really wants to go up with Thornton. He really wants to deep ball Thornton. We're gonna have to keep our eye out on that. It looks like he's probably going for it. Okay, great job, fucking, oh god, I hate my fuck. I hate this defense so much, I really fucking do, I feel like they're lost every fucking play. Oh, interception, Aaron Robinson, give me a block, let's go. Yeah, apparently I complain about my defense. Fucking my defense does something. But that was a bad throw from him. I mean, I don't know what he was fucking looking for. He he just threw it straight to him. See, no outsiders on Uche. Edge threat on fucking Matthew Judon. Go three-yard run from Saquon. I need, I need good runs right here. I need some good runs. Okay. Looks like, yeah, he's definitely a man coverage guy. Oh, let's go. Saquon. That's what we talking about. Go, got out of bounds. Five yard scramble. Looks like he would. Okay. So let's motion over. Colin Johnson. Dang, I was hoping Colin Johnson would get that. I probably need to angle it more over towards where he was. God, it's a mistake for me. Damn, no time. Matthew Judon just fucking piled through our fucking defense. And you're close. Fourth and five. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Let's go for it. Yeah, 
Oh, okay. Well, Daniel Jones, you suck ass. I hate Daniel Jones with a fucking passion. God. And they get terrific field position. Just should have fucking just punted. Fucking, of course, Dwayne Belton. Dwayne Belton. Belton's just fucking sitting there on his, like a fucking bump on the log. Just didn't even react to it. I mean, if he, get, if he reacts and gets in front of him, that's a fucking interception. It's an interception at half. Defense can't do anything. <laughs> I fucking hate my defense. Defense can't do shit. Oh, good pass breakup. Luckily, you still can't do shit, defense. No matter how many fucking pass breakups you do. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Harris running straight ahead. I don't know how Leonard Williams can't grab fucking Damien Harris, dude. Goal, fourth down. I don't know what he was trying to do. I mean, he 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 tried to run, but luckily Thibodeau got in the backfield, and then he almost got the first. But. Good tackle! Fuck yes! Finally! Finally! We do something! Finally! I feel like it's been 20 years! So Saquon, good shit Saquon! Okay, Saquon, Saquon, every game, it's like Saquon has to carry this game. Let's go first down. Oh, not first down, second down. Catch first down. That was a risky ass pass. Risky pass. It's putting five down. It's putting five linemen on the line. We gotta make sure at least we can block Judon. At the least block Judon. And so much about football partner comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best 
that's a one yard, two yard gain? No yard gain. Okay, that, that makes no sense to me. Okay. Whatever. Oh, solid. Solid three yards. I'll take it. Oh, uh, can we please get a stop? Oh, let's go, Colin Johnson. Let's go, Colin Johnson. Let's go. We got good field position now. 32. And he did send. We'll oh, Saquon Barkley. Let's go. Saquon. Oh, you got this game. Saquon's going to have to carry. Obviously, it looks like. We got dang fucking. Daniel Jones can barely throw a football today. I just found that out. Let's go. Let's go out route. Who is on? Outside shit. Oh, shit, I got somebody. Touchdown. Oh, yeah. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Giants go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. When you give up a long touchdown drive, you're looking for a silver lining. In this case, it's the fact that your offense had a chance to rest, and now they can come out to feel charged up and ready to go. Touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. Okay, so we're up 14 zip. Probably gonna find some way to fumble this fucking bag. You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive, but at the same time, you're wondering how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this place? He's got a man complete, and they're gonna work really about the 32-yard line. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And to be honest, this first half hasn't been anything they'd be really proud about. So they needed something like this to change their fortunes. Now they need to make sure they finish this one off, not just with points, but with a touchdown. And that one, and even 60 yards in the air. Wow. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Back to throw, Jones. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. Oh, I need to stop. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. 
A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That swung out wide to Harris. Good tackle, good tackle. And he's going to be marked down just outside the ten. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is. Okay, come on, we all need... What? Not in bounds. Let's go. seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far even backed up late they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down the offense on third down just okay, a big play right here third and six it's gonna throw it away let's go Yeah. Oh, I can I can help you. I just got an interception. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hi. I'm streaming right now. <laughs> I fixed it for you, Grandma. Okay. There. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. It's been a good first yeah, let's do this. Okay. We got two minutes, ten seconds to get twenty one to nothing lead. Bellinger. Let's go Bellinger. Mm. Let's go. Daniel Bellinger, baby. He's putting on work this season. Can I lie even more? Get open. Operating from the gun, Jones. Let's go, Vanilla Vic. Vanilla Vic. We need to get this first down. Oh, Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore, baby. Daniel Bellinger, I need you to get open right here. To come up with big plays, and there's an example of that right there. Okay, good thing that was a complete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Play. We're gonna leave Saquon in the block. Let's go. Speed with which his offense could get down the field. It's taking them no time at all to get down here. 
And now they're set up with a first and goal. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. Yeah, that's a solid, solid couple. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And the yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down. Holding them to a short game. Another try for Barkley. Go good run. Third and goal. You gotta get. You gotta get in the end zone right here. Uh, let's see. Let's run this. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's able to get down Fourth and goal at the two. Should I wind this down? Just take my three, go into halftime 17 nothing, get the ball? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Wind it down. Wind it, wind it. We're gonna wind it down. Timeout, one second remaining. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal. Let's go, 17 nothing half time. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Inside run. Uh, well, he has been he's been getting me on the deep passes. We gotta protect deep ball. You back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Really good return to the 28. Let's go. Let's get the running game going. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Second half begins with a run from Barkley. Oh my God, Saquon Barkley is putting the team back right now. 57 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Solid run. I mean, solid yard, but to make it second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get go. Then everyone crashed in the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Double team him. Double team him. Oh, good throw. certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down even with a three score lead here in the third quarter I think they keep taking their shots they've seen blown leads happen throughout this league they don't want to fall victim to it themselves good five yards let's go good five yards I'm going to have to keep Saquon in the backfield if Matthew Judon breaks free. He's been rushing Matthew Judon a lot. Okay. Judon's going to back out. Oh, Daniel, you threw that terribly. Why did you throw the ball terribly? He threw that. I high pointed it to get it over McCordy and it just he threw it so terribly. And McCordy got the pick. Great. Defense is gonna actually need to do something. Going out. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. Try to lay one up deep. Interception, Adoree Jackson! 
Let's go, Dory. Let's go, Dory Jackson. And we get the ball right on back. Oh, I'm so happy, the defense. What? Why? Where was this, like, the last couple of games? Like, where? Like, why do I get this now instead of a couple games ago? Like... Dude, Saquon. Yeah, Saquon. <laughs> Saquon, carry my team. <laughs> Just carry it. <laughs> the only thing we've been able to happen is fucking Saquon Barkley. Just carrying my team. Is he going to rush Judon? Yep. Oh, he kind of rushed Judon. Can we get that to Bellinger? And he threw it so terribly again. Like, why? Why Daniel Jones has to throw this shit so terribly? Why are you this fucking bad? God. Of course, of course. He throws it terribly. Good break up. He's been trying to highball at the Thornton all game. We've just been happy to get there and disrupt it. Now we're going to have to get something. I mean, I'm pissed off that Daniel Jones, when we are up, he plays like absolute garbo. He starts overthrowing footballs. He starts underthrowing the football. I mean, I don't know what more needs to fucking happen for Daniel Jones to get his head out of his ass and do something. Incomplete. He's been running that play. I don't know why Aaron Robinson just doesn't play on Thornton right there. He's been running it. Luckily, it went out of bounds. I mean, he didn't get his two feet in. But, I mean, I don't know why that play, he just doesn't play Thornton. He just doesn't. This time, Robinson should play a little, his zone a little bit better. Let's go! Fourth and ten! That's, oh, Dexter Lawrence almost had another pick. Okay, if he's going for it, which he probably is. Give me this play. So I can man up Thornton. Jones now throwing on fourth down. He's gonna look deep down the field. Look and Thornton got it. Of course, I knew it was the Thornton. He just highballs the Thornton, and he gets it. That's Finally, he gets one. The but come on, and you know that fourth and ten, just fucking game. prayer but throws the Thornton on, and gets it. Daniel Jones, I swear to God, if you throw one more fucking terrible football, you're cut from the whole team. I swear. I swear. One more terrible football. You're gone. I don't care what overall, what dev you are. Gone. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last This one. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, Bellinger, hang on to. I like how Thornton hangs on to one ball when he gets hit. None of my receivers can hang on to a goddamn thing in their lifetime. Oh, holy shit, Daniel Bellinger holds on to it, but guess what? He runs backwards two yards, makes it the third and seven. God. Fucking help after this game. I'm going to need it. Let's 
Let's go, Colin Johnson. Exactly what I needed. We gotta score this drive. It's a must score drive. It's a must score. If we don't score here, we're possibly fucked for the rest of the game. That was a terrible throw. I'm happy we actually terribly threw it because I was 50 50 on whether he was actually going to catch that. If I can get time, keyword hope. Four yards. This is a this is a half to first down right here. This is a must be a first down. This is yeah. that's what territory we're in right now. Let's go, Bellinger open. Hit him with the quick. Hit him with the quick passes that are open. If we can just do that. We're good. Five men on the fucking line. Mm, let's go, Saquon. A good four yards. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna need to keep him on his toes by running this football. I know we're up by ten. But... Dang, of course, sixty-four just jumps in front of me and holds me up. We possibly had a first down right there. No, oh, I'm not supposed to have anything nice apparently. Um, <laughs> this is going to have to be underneath or this is another five down fucking he's got five people Bellinger out I mean Elijah Moore thank you thank you for catching a football exactly what I need nowadays is somebody to catch a football this is gonna dude slow and methodical only way I can describe this drive is slow and methodical five or six seven actually seven yards okay Saquon actually we don't even need to run another play we can just let this go down to the fourth we're in field goal range so, I mean, we don't really need to do much. We can let this run down to the fourth quarter. Yeah, don't run a play. Let it run down to the fourth. There we go. We need a touchdown. We need a touchdown. Halfback dive. We need three yards. Offensive line, please do your job. For once in your life. Um, please do your job. Uh, of course, you don't do your job. One yard gain, okay. I'm down with just taking three right here and going up 20 to seven. I mean, I'm going to have to take points whatever way I can. If that's the only way I can take points, then. Of course, I have to, I have to dodge and I don't get the first. So I'm going to have to take three. We're going to have to take three right here. Shit. That was not what was needed. I can barely see the arc of my kick. But there we go. Okay. 20 to 7. He's probably going to high, keep highballing it. He's probably just going to keep highballing it to Thornton. 
and he's probably still gonna come down with every single pass because I don't know why fucking uh, Aaron Robinson can't react to a fucking ball that's thrown his way and he gives so much space to Thornton it's not even funny so it's like I don't know what the fuck to do over the top Leonard Williams with the sack. Oh, that was needed. Give me Thornton. We're going to have to man up Thornton right here. That's double coverage. He This fuck. I hate this fuck. He mosses two people? Okay, he's in front of... Okay, broken up. If he caught another one in double coverage, I would 100% would've fucking just left. <laughs> I don't care if I was fucking winning. Oh shit. Oh well. This is a touchdown. Interception! Kendall Sheffield! We got four minutes, about roughly, actually technically five minutes. Five minutes remaining. We are going to need a big drive. A big drive drain clock. Just a straight up drain clock. It's in a bunch. Good run. Good run. That's three yards. I'll take it. Saquon's about to eclipse 100 yards today. This is a hundred percent. Judon's gonna be rushing off the edges. Yep. What? Under Pratt? No one broke the line of scrimmage. How the fuck is that? Oh my god. Daniel Jones is about to make me want to fucking. <sighs> Daniel Jones. Fuck you. Bellinger, first down, baby. Thank you for Bellinger being the most useful player on my offense right now. Catches that, gets the first. Good run, Saquon! Just chew clock and do everything in your power. Chew clock. No, I'm not putting on chew clock, but just get the get first downs. Just get them. Look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, Saquon, Saquon, through the gap, Saquon Barkley. 78-yard touchdown! Well, that was exactly what I needed. Vanilla Vic in for two. 28-7 with 3.36 left in the fourth. Good tackle. Good tackle. So I know what he's going to do. It's high ball to Thornton. It's literally just high ball to Thornton. Where's Thornton? Okay, so Thornton's right there, so I think McKinney should be able. 
Dude, it's literally just this play to Thornton. It's literally just this play to Thornton. It's literally just this play. I have never seen someone spam one play to Thornton. Good, good tackle, good tackle. He has to hurry up the offense. Oh, Adori. Adori, you were there. Give me another. He has to throw, so let's go dime. Let's go cover four and dime. He has to throw at the Thornton. And I know he wants to throw at the Thornton. He's not noticing. I'm literally double teaming Thornton, and he's not throwing it to where the open coverage is on a cover four. Incomplete. Second and ten. He should be really close right now. And that's going to seal it. I'm gonna put a number on him. Aaron Robinson pick six. And that actually probably gonna end it. That's <laughs> gonna end it. Defense, you finally came through for me for once in my life. I finally appreciate that. Defense. I, I appreciate that the defense finally figured out how to play football this week. If we can get this for weeks to come, as The Pats at the line, ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better? Okay, I'm time back. Now. This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. He's going to let it fly. Incomplete. Thank you for the defense today. Defense. We're starting. Yep. Give cushion, give cushion. Give fucking cushion. Interception. As the seventh interception of the ball game. And that's going to end it. Well, I feel like the game's been over since the pick six, but. Let's see. Wow, Saquon, 20 carries, 166 yards on the day. There we go. There we go, what a fucking game. 
What a game. I'm happy. We finally figured out how to play football. The defense finally figured it out how to play football. To throw on third down, Jones. And that's, and that's gonna wrap it up. We're gonna go to formation. Special teams. We're gonna kneel the football right here. And we're gonna leave out of here with a huge W today. 35-7 goes for it. We're gonna go four and four. And that is going to end it. So. Like I said, finally. We, we decided to play football. Defense finally decided to play football today. And I'm actually happy the defense actually decided today of all days to go ahead and play football. 35-7. And a huge victory at home that should help us let's go look at our stats of course um, Daniel Jones 6 for 20 16 for 25 241 yards a touchdown two interceptions he threw two terrible footballs uh, that's what pissed me off but rushing Saquon Barkley thank you for carrying my team today 21 carries 168 yards and a touchdown Thank you for carrying my team. Daniel Bellinger, 7 for 96. Colin Johnson was 3 for 62 and a touchdown. Elijah Moore, 3 for 46. Saquon, 2 for 15. Darius Slayton, 1 for 22. Defensively, Leonard Williams with our one and only sack, but Dory, two picks. Robinson, two picks. Sheffield with a pick. Dexter Lawrence with a pick. Xavier McKinney with a pick. Um, it looked like uh, Dory Jackson and Aaron Robinson were the best with, on tackles today. Must needed game to win. You know, I feel ter I felt so pissed after the game robbed us of that Seattle game that finally we come out, we get this W this week. Um, ooh, looks like we got some upgrades. Uh, looks like a couple of players, a couple starters. Uh, Curtis Brooks, you're like the backup to the backup. I mean... You're, you're probably, I don't know what to do with you. Shane, Shane Lumix, I mean, okay. We're going to have to get you up because I feel like this offseason we're going to definitely lose some offensive line. Aaron Robinson, please give me some speed on Aaron. Please give me some speed on Aaron. Ah, uh, I did not get speed on Aaron. And then Saquon. <laughs> Dang, it's, it's almost like Saquon, man. Saquon's just him. Saquon. In a much needed game, I needed Saquon to do good, and we we did it. So, game wrecker. Um, I think the goal was four plus either swats and interceptions, and that's what we got today. Um, so failure to keep Devin McCourty as a result of minus five morale for the offense. What? Oh, it's because he had the one interception. Oh my god. Fuck off. Fuck off. Five morale. After going and winning 35 to 7, I, I think that would be a booster. Def the entire defense. Dexter Lawrence will have his X Factor active for the entire next game. Oh my god. Dexter Lawrence is about to go off. But we're going to go 4-4. Four and four. We face probably, I mean, we've had a tough schedule this season. I mean, looking at the schedule, I mean, it, it's, been, it, it's been so tough. I mean, we took the loss to Trippy. We did a comeback win against Carolina, and then we went on a two-game losing streak. Both of them were, were winnable games. It's just, you know, I don't know why. The defense just didn't play at the end of the game. Um, but then we beat the, what was the, uh, which is the London Bulldogs, a.k.a. the 49ers, at home. This game, I felt so robbed. I felt so robbed of this game. I, I I don't know why everything just went his way at the end of that game. I'm still pissed the fuck off about that game. I mean, he just started getting high balls when I, you know, for for no for some reason he was just getting every high ball imaginable. Um so, and then of course we got the four sim against the Raiders and then today a huge win against New England, but we got Dallas which is a CPU. We got... Oh my... Fuck!
fucking wide. I got a face wide. Oh my god, we're losing. Oh my god, we're so losing. Oh shit. Oh, I'm so fucked. Two weeks. Oh, why? Why left? Why? Why would? Why do we put him on my schedule? Why? 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 D does the game like to see me in pain? Does it like to see me suffer? Like, of course, we got the Eagles, and then we got Cardinals, and the Commanders, and the Dolphins. So, there we go. That's going to wrap it up for this game. Thank you guys for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you're on Twitch, drop a follow. I'm Meredith Cause. We'll see you guys next time.